All right, so we're up to fingerstyle. So fingerstyle, a big thing here is, you know, we've been talking about uh, the efficiency of your hands, okay? So what you want to do is when you look down, I'm going to put my fingers down, and this, a lot of this is written as two fingers or three finger, thumb, index, middle, which is folk style. Classical is the latter, which is uh, adding the ring finger. Go ahead and rest your fingers underneath those strings. So like my fingers are plucking up, my thumb is going down. But when I look down, as you see that my thumb is sitting to the my left, right? So you could kind of drop, take a pen and kind of create an imaginary line that where I'm hitting here is where I'm hitting here. And what happens there is that that allows for my fingers are using trigger muscles. So they're going more towards my palm when I hit. Also, if I end up crossing over, I'm not going to have them butt into each other. So a lot of people start, they try to do this, and it's the wrong muscle. You're using these tendons. This is muscles. So just think, you know, that, that same grip, like you're holding onto a hammer, right? We hold on to stuff. That's what we do. Uh, so that light grip. So this first one, uh, I'm calling the folk roll. I made these names up. But I'm going thumb, and now my uh, index is on the second string, and then my thumb's going to hop down to the third, and then middle on bottom. T I T M. So now, only thing that changes from one pattern to another, or one uh, chord for the next, is where the root is. So D is going to have a root on the D string. Right? There's your bass. And then E minor is back to the low E. But then C is the fifth string. When you're doing uh, finger style, it's the guide finger is really important because you're thinking about what do you need at that very moment, right? So then D, E minor. I don't even need these, but I put it down for just you know the tradition of it. But going from E minor to C, I go ahead and get that finger down. I haven't even fretted anything else. It gives me time to be clean. Uh, the reverse. Now the, the use of these is interesting. So like a lot of a lot of players will come. So there I, I switched it. Next. Sort of do little variations that way. Um, the ragtime has got a pinch, so here we're gonna go. So now I've I've moved my string set down. So now my middle is on the second string, and my pointer finger is on the third. You can keep it on the three little strings. Uh, for this, I just wanted to give it a little variety. Um, so thumb, and then we're gonna pinch those two together. Or sorry, I did the wrong one. I did the reverse. T D, everything shifts back down. And then the reverse, which is, I think the reverse, ironically, is probably the more popular. All right, now uh, I'm calling the hallelujah roll, which is, this is four finger now. So now we're adding the ring. And I'm going to assign my index, middle, and ring. So these are real pretty. Just great. Notice that's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a six, eight pattern. Um, but you can do like the classical patterns. Same kind of idea fingering wise. patterns that uh, just like when you're doing strum patterns just practice them over and over again uh, I tell people uh, to just tie like a sock around their neck and just just go back and forth just play that pattern a million times until you're sick of it and then that'll help you just just retain it so you don't have to worry about it every time but yeah